Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's pray, shall we? Lord, we thank you for the day you've given. And Father, we ask that you would help us today to keep our eyes on you. Uh, Lord, that uh, your word would speak to us and, and help us to, to know who, uh, better who you are. And Father, that you would help us and guide us as we seek to follow after thee. And so, Lord, send revival to our lives, our hearts. Help us walk in thy truth, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, good afternoon again. Uh, let's take our Bibles and open to Psalm 144. Psalm 144, we're actually going to begin reading in the very last verse. <clears throat> the Bible makes a statement here in verse 15. It says, Happy is that people uh, that is in such a case. Yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. You know, there are many things in life where we can be discouraged by, but not knowing the Lord. Uh, you know, is is so we, as we come to to realize God's blessing and, and who God is, uh, our joy, our, our peace, our contentment does not come from what we have. It does not come from our possessions, but rather it comes from uh, the person of Jesus Christ, who the Lord is. And uh, in our obedience to him, notice what he says in verse number one, and just a couple highlights here in this chapter. He says, blessed, is the, uh, blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight, uh, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower, my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. May I tell you that there's not one issue in your life that God cannot subdue. You and I can't do it, but God can. It says, uh, Lord, Lord, what is man that thou takest knowledge of him, or the son of man that thou makest account of him, reminded of Psalm 8 here. Uh, he says, man is like to vanity. His days are as a shadow that passeth away. And truly, you know, our life is brief. Uh, it's appointed unto man once to die and after this the judgment. And the Bible tells us that, uh, that uh, our life is but a vapor that appeareth for a short time and then vanishes away. But notice in verse 10, he says, uh, it is he that giveth salvation unto kings who delivereth David his servant from the hurtful sword. And may I tell you that God is able to, to give you salvation. You know, there, neither is there salvation in any other. It's by repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. And so as we look here, we understand that salvation is of the Lord. But at the same time, uh, he says, Who delivereth David his servant from the hurtful sword. He will, he will deliver us from all our tribulation, all of our troubles, all of our problems. Even though the outcomes may not be what we want, we know that God is faithful and that God is able. And our desire is that he would deliver us. He says, rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity and their right hand is uh, a right hand of falsehood. <clears throat> he talks about uh, the, the, the blessing of God upon his own children, upon his family and upon his people as they walk in truth and live their lives for the Lord. But as we consider these things today, Christian, happy is that people that is in such a case. Yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. If you know the Lord today, you should be happy. You should be content. You should be satisfied because everything we need comes from Him. And uh, He is able. He's an encouragement to us. He's our very present help. He's our refuge and our strength, even as uh, David mentions in verses 1 and 2. But let's go to God in prayer and ask the Lord to settle these things in our hearts. Father, we thank you for the day. Lord, we are happy. Um, Lord, we're very thankful that uh, our God is the Lord. Lord, help us be content with life. Lord, help us be satisfied by Thee. Lord, we pray that You'd strengthen us, that You'd deliver us, that you'd allow us to live victoriously. And we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for joining us. It's been a pleasure. We're praying for you. Lord willing, we'll see you back here tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.